This is Chris Kell with your core workout of the day. All right, today we're gonna to flip the script a little bit. Uh, we've been focusing for the first two days on the front side of our core, our abs. Today we're gonna to work our butt, okay, or the back side, all right? And everybody that I know wants a great butt. And before we get into that, I can't mention um, getting a great butt without mentioning the feet, all right? Because the way this starts is at our toes, all right? And one challenge that I have for you today is, can you do this? Can you lift your big toe about 10 times versus lifting your small toes about 10 times? The reason why this is important is because in order to fully extend our hip as we walk and as we do exercise, we have to be able to extend our big toe first, all right? It's, a, it's, a, it's called the windless mechanism. If that doesn't happen, we never fully extend in our hips, all right? And if you, if you find that you, know, you have back pain or hip pain, uh, maybe you've had knee pain in the past, um, and your butt's not necessarily where it wants to be, work on your toes. Once you get extension here, um, you're definitely gonna start to see more development here, and you're gonna get less pain as well. So that's just kind of an aside. But for today's workout, we have two exercises we're gonna focus on, all right? Exercise one, we're gonna start on your side, all right? So this exercise is the side lying leg lift. And with side lying leg lift, what I wanna do is give myself a little love, all right? So I'm gonna put my hand on the side of my butt. I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna extend my leg, and notice, this knee is in line with the back, with this knee, okay? I don't want it in front, okay, because we're gonna be working other muscles. So it's, it's right in line, a little bit behind this, actually. And what I'm doing is I'm just lifting up and down slowly, all right? I should feel this back here in the side of my butt cheeks, all right? What we're gonna do is we're performing this exercise for 30 seconds on each side. All right, so I'm 30 seconds here. All right, set your clock for a minute. When you get close to 30 seconds, we're just gonna flip over. And we're gonna hit the other side. All right, so that's exercise one. So 60 seconds, 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. Now, our second exercise of the day, okay, is gonna be a single leg glute bridge. So for this one, I'm just gonna, I'm simply gonna push my butt up in the air, hold long enough to get a good squeeze in your butt, I'm gonna come down. Once again, just kind of get more in my butt, I'm gonna put my hand on my butt, make sure I'm really feeling this in this muscle, and just holding the top, and just moving pretty slowly. It's not for speed, it's for reps, all right? Now, if you find that you start to uh, feel this more in your back, don't extend up quite as high. If you find that you start to feel this in your hamstrings, all right? We're going to just stagger it. So instead of one leg up in the air, I'm just going to have kind of one leg back, the one that I'm focusing on. The other leg is going to be forward. All right? Now, the way this works is I'm going to do 60 seconds on each side. So I have 60 seconds here, 60 seconds here. All right, so today we are focusing on four rounds of those exercises, all right? So that's 12 minutes in total, 30 seconds for the sideline leg lifts, 60 seconds for the single leg glute bridges, and that's your daily workout.